Hello, everyone. My name is Tara Stevenson, and I serve as the Dean of Student Engagement and Career Development here at Flagler College. I am getting ready and excited to welcome Rachel Hill here with us. She's joining us right now through Instagram Live. We've got our group here for our Facebook page. We've got YouTube going, and we've also got Instagram. And so hopefully our anime club will be able to join us. As always, we love our technical issues that we're working through constantly. And so we may have our cameras coming in and out either through Facebook, YouTube, um, or through um, Instagram. We're gonna see if we can get Rachel to join us at some point in Instagram. But again, technology is our friend and foe through all of this, but hopefully you'll be able to hear her. <laughs> um, and so let's see, let me see if I can try to get her one more time with us. We love that y'all are so patient with us. I really appreciate it. Let's see, it might take a little bit of time to connect. Oh, I see Anime Club. There she is! We are making it work. <laughs> um, Rachel, let's go ahead and get you muted on the computer so we won't have an echo. But we are here with our second Saints Meetup, and so we are so honored to have you join us tonight. I really appreciate it. I say us, like there's multiple people here hosting you, but I am very excited to host you. <laughs> and so, Rachel, first of all, tell us about you, what club you're representing, and a little bit about your story. Okay, so I'm a strategic communications major and minoring in creative writing, and I'm a junior. I'm representing the anime club today. I'm the president and the co-founder. So that's really exciting. And we're, this is our first semester as a club. I know there was one in the past, but we're hoping to make it last longer. Absolutely. And so your strategic communication major, um, this, you said you're a junior, but this is your first or second semester here at Flagler with us. This is my second semester. Okay. And where did you transfer from? Um, I got my AA degree in high school, but I went to Eastern Florida State College. Okay. And that's where you're from? Yes. I'm from Malabar, Florida, which is right next to like Melbourne, Florida. Melbourne so. and Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And why did you choose Flagler? Um, well, when I was doing all of my tours and everything, this one just felt like right. And it was a smaller school because the other one I was looking at was a really big school. And I just felt like a smaller community would be better for me. No, oh, I like that. I mean, I know there's always pros and cons to everything and people choose things differently. Um, I do want to remind everybody, again, we love our technical issues, but we are monitoring any questions that come in. And so if you have questions either for myself or for Rachel about why she's here and talking with us tonight, please feel free to type them out either through Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, and we'll be sure to, to answer them. But you mentioned that you are the president and co-founder of the anime club and so yes. why like tell us about that journey why that club um well honestly i'm really new to like the genre but my vice president and co-founder um kenzie my roommate she uh is the very knowledgeable one of us too and um when she moved into our, our room we kind of like bonded over the fact that we both like liked anime. I was just getting into it so she could teach me stuff. And then one day we were sitting at our desk and I was just like, why don't we start a club? We don't have an anime club, so why don't we just start one? And so you said yeah. you're not as familiar with the genre. And so explain yeah. to us the genre of anime. So it's just like, um, like Japanese animation really. And it's like, I watch them dubbed, so they have like English dubs. But sometimes I will watch like the subtitle ones if they don't have it in dub. But yeah, I mean, it's just like, there's a lot of different like sub genres within the thing. So like, it really just has everything for everyone. Cool. And how many members do you have? Um, like on Saints Connect, we have like 10 members, but in our last, on our last meeting, which was our first meeting, 
we had about 14 people show up. And then at our tabling event, almost around close to 30 people like came through and checked in through St. So we're at like 54 potentially that are loving yeah. the anime club in your first semester. <laughs> um, have you, cause I know we're, we're talking about your second semester here. So were there anything, any opportunities that you tried last semester and you were like, Oh, I don't know if this is really my home yet, but I want to try it out. Um, I don't think there really was. I know last semester is when we started getting petitions and everything for this club, but there wasn't really anything that I tried out that I didn't like, like, so. But you were like, nope, I need to do the anime club. And so what was the process for, what's the verb for founding a club, for finding a club, creating a club? <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, it was just like an idea that me and my roommate had and we thought it would be a great like bonding experience because we've grown a lot closer through this process of like having to like do everything together, talk to each other about everything, figure out how each other works. And then find like your kindred spirit across campus. Yeah. Um, I love seeing the evolution of our clubs each year because we do have clubs that like anime club, they get a group together and then they start the creation of becoming a club and petitioning student government to be a recognized club on campus. And then like it gets really exciting and then it ebbs and flows. So we might not see it for one year, but then it comes back and revives in a whole new way. Um, but I know that anime club did have to go through petition for student government, correct? Yeah. Yes. And that's where you have to present to the student government association, what the purpose of the club is and how you're going to be, um, I guess how you're going to be interacting on campus. Yeah. So what are some different types of events that you all do? You mentioned tabling. Yeah. So we did a tabling event, um, yesterday and we have a meeting coming up on tomorrow and it's a setsuban, which is really, or setsuban is really today. It's the beginning of spring. So it's like the Japanese version of Groundhog's Day. I was so, like, so the groundhog said that we still have six more weeks, but we're going to totally celebrate yeah. with you all. <laughs> yeah. But Setsuban says that spring starts today. <laughs> we're going to so, go with that. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow we have a fun like activity for everybody where you have like clay so they can make their own Setsuban mask. And there's like a tradition with um, soybeans, like to bring you good fortune. So we have all that for everybody. Yeah. So tell me about your advisor. Oh, Mary Rose. She's the best. <gasps> well, she's why is she the best? Just like us. <laughs> She's really great. Like it's really been an experience working with her and she's really like taught us a lot and like showed us a lot. We've been very, very supportive of everything that we want to do, really hyping us up. Well, and she serves as our assistant director of diversity and inclusion and hearing you explain kind of just the event tomorrow night, I feel like she's the perfect fit for you all. And so <laughs> and she's like really helped us like incorporate diversity and inclusion into our club meetings and it's been really great. Oh my goodness, that's like fate that you all found one another. Um, and I like yeah. how her role is really connecting with the different clubs. Now, are yeah. you co-hosting that event with any other clubs on campus? Uh, no, but we have been like contacting other clubs, wanting to do more collaborations because we do want to get involved with other clubs and like get everybody out there because a lot of people don't know about a lot of the clubs and we just want to get it out there for people. Shameless plug for this whole Saints meetup thing so that we can explain <laughs> what you all do yeah. and the, you know, amazing clubs that are out there. We might have clubs that have lots of students involved, clubs that don't have a lot of students involved. But I know we always say, like, there's something for everybody here at Flagler. But when I get to hear about some of our different clubs, I truly believe that there is something for everyone here. Yeah. Um, what are some other events that y'all are thinking about for this semester or maybe in the future? Um, we do have like a couple of the, of the Japanese holidays coming up and then we have a Valentine's Day one where we'll watch a, um, where we're like going to be discussing like romance animes and we'll be making like Valentine's Day cards and all that fun stuff. And then we do have one in the works for, um, Black History Month because there is black representation in anime and we would love to like talk about that and like discuss that. Absolutely. I think 
seeing what our different organizations are doing for Black History Month and then to also see the collaborations. I mean, we've got our clubs that are working together uh, over films or for um, different social events or educational events, different things like that. Um, talk to us. So how has it been with COVID and your club? Because oh. we all know it's like, let's get everybody together. And then we're like, no, we really can't. <laughs> yeah. I know with the one club meeting that we had, it was a little bit of like weird because like we want people to like socialize, but we also want them to social distance. So we don't well, want them yeah. to be too close to each other. <laughs> And we want to like discuss and everything, but like um, passing around a microphone, you have to like wipe it down every single yeah. time. So it's like, yeah. there's just a lot of like precautions and like stuff that we have to take to make sure that everybody in our club is still being like safe when it comes to like COVID and everything. I do think there's been a lot of opportunities though with COVID for tabling where it's like these uh, drive-through experiences or like a make yeah. and take. And so, instead of attending something and then only being involved with it for just like that 30 minutes or 60 minutes of the event, they're taking a part of that club with them back to their room. And hopefully it's got yeah. a bit more of a lasting <laughs> impression. Yeah. Um, do you guys do any Zoom meetings with your club or is it traditionally in a, a classroom where everybody's being physically distant? Um, we're starting that for the meeting that's tomorrow we do have a Zoom like option and we're gonna do that for all of them. Because mm -hmm. we want even the people who are at our school but they're at home in a different state, we want them to come and enjoy anime with everybody else who just loves anime just as much. That is something that I am totally a fan of right now is obviously I joke with people like my title is Dean of Student Engagement which is horrible during a pandemic because the idea of engaging with students, like we can't really do that, but we have to get creative on what that engagement means. But I'm loving that we're able to connect with people that are still working from home or doing their schooling from home. And it's yeah. it, like that distance has almost created this community that hopefully when we are able to all be back together and can come back in person, like that foundation of connection has already been made. Yeah. Um, and I also like, like you could probably try to even connect with other anime clubs that are at other institutions to see what they're doing. Yeah. And it's a whole lot easier because everybody's like, let's just chat over Zoom or let's just do a phone call and it's the expectation. Um, so of course I always have to ask why, yeah. like what would you tell somebody about why they should be involved at Flagler? Um, I just know that it's, it's totally worth it. Cause like, I was, I'm very like introverted and this semester I like, it was like one of my new year's resolutions. I want to be more out there and put myself out there. That's why I wanted to found a club and why I just found out today that I got the student interest committee chair for SGA. Congratulations. So. Oh my goodness. Too bad we can't do like this, yeah. like three part thing on Instagram or in here to get SGA involved in there too. Yeah, so I just know that it's really worth it because I've met a lot of like cool people and I know that like if I didn't put myself out there, I wouldn't have met my roommate and this club would have never been a thing because she wasn't like originally in our room, but like I met her and she needed a roommate. So it was really great. This is so heartwarming. Like I didn't even have to plug you to be able to say this stuff. <laughs> this is what we're hoping to share. But that's a really, congratulations. That's a huge honor to be able to serve on that and be recognized um, in that leadership role. Do you mind explaining to everybody what is the Student Interest Committee um, with student government? Um, it's really like hearing the feedback from like students and like what they like and because like i'm such like a pusher for clubs right now because i'm <laughs> a, trying to get my club out there i uh, want to yeah. hear like people's experience at clubs and what how i can make it more of presidents and how i can help to like get their clubs out there really and i want people to be more informed because i know sometimes i feel like i'm a little uninformed about some things happening on campus and i just want and i want to know what people like and what they don't like so i can help try to like find that even balance yeah, it's, um, I mean, student government is the advocacy of the student body and playing yeah. that connector role 
with administration and faculty and staff is so crucial. And then when you also have that experience with a club, you know, you're getting that firsthand experience of what a club operates like, and then be able to really make those connections and, and connect the dots for that. Yeah. Oh, very cool. And so when is today your like official first day within that role for student government? Yeah, I found out this morning. Oh, this so. is like a huge celebration then. I can't believe we've gotten into this thing, you know, 15 minutes. <laughs> and we need to make sure that we recognize you for that. Um, do you at this point think that you could explain to people like the difference between being a member of a club versus being the leader of a club? Um, I feel like it really falls into the responsibility of being a leader, of being like someone who has to make sure that everything is going right and you have to think of everything that can go wrong that's so that everything can go right. And you got to think about like what they want, but if it was a member, they just have to show up and have fun. But like, I know at our first meeting, I was like, okay, well, I want everybody to have fun. I want everybody to like be involved, <laughs> want them to have a good time. Yeah. Everybody like it and everybody enjoy it and it's going to be great and perfect. And then, yes. you'll, <laughs> then we learn that it's maybe not always like that. Um, but I, I think you bring up another really great point is during COVID, it's really, I think, pushed a lot of us to evaluate our priorities and evaluate what we're doing. But taking the time to push yourself like you're doing, that can be a priority. And then figuring out something and knowing that it's not always going to be right or wrong. Like that's not a bad thing. And, and imagine like all that you're learning through that alongside your classes. Um, and so I can see a question that came through on Instagram is Alyssa would like to know your favorite anime or what would you recommend for someone trying to get into anime? Um, I have a lot of favorite animes, but right now it would probably be Psyche K because Psyche K is like, I connect with him on a spiritual level. And it's, I don't know, it's just like, I feel like you can find anything for any kind of genre because there's like action animes and like romance animes. And just like, it's really like a relatable genre because it's got everything. So, yeah. Okay. And then is that your recommendation for someone trying to get into anime? Um, yes. Or just start off with the basics of Naruto because it's a really basic one and really hard to not like because it's got like a character for everyone. I feel like our, uh, sorry, of course, you know, my family would love to FaceTime during when we're going live on my phone and I love that opportunity and I'll call them again later. But, um, I, I think we're going to need like a second session on this about anime 101 <laughs> because you're <laughs> throwing around some words that I myself, I'm not familiar with anime. And so I don't know them. Um, but I, I do want to, I want to ask, and it could just be me. And if it's just me, then whatever. But um, anime is not just you creating it. It's you also watching it and seeing somebody else create it. Correct? Yeah. It's like, I don't want to say it's like cartoons, but that's, it's like, yeah, it's like TV shows that are like cartoons, but they're just it shows. I just don't want to call them cartoons. No, I mean, because they're not, it's something different. It's its own genre, as you've explained. Yeah. But I think that that's important for people to know when they're thinking about different clubs is your club is not just all about the creation of anime. It's also about like, appreciating anime and learning about all yeah. different types and maybe discussing it. Yeah. And we also want people to like, to like walk, like see stuff that they've never seen before. We want to open them up to new possibilities. Cause like it is a really wide and broad genre. So if we were able to like narrow it down and people can come to like, we our last meeting was my hero academia and a lot of people haven't even seen it, but it's like a good one. Like I just watched it myself and it's really good. And I feel like everybody should watch that one as well. So I love seeing your face light up when you start to talk about different things. I'm not going to lie. I totally get that way about shoes. Um, but I, do, I, don't, I don't know if there would ever be a shoe club, <laughs> perhaps sometime in the future. <laughs> um, well, any other things that you'd like to share with any of our current students, maybe prospective students, um, anybody thinking about creating a club or joining a club? 
I feel like if you're on the fence about like joining clubs, starting club or anything, just do it. Cause you're not going to regret it. Like I've had really good experience with all the faculty. They get back to me quickly. They're really nice to me when I don't know something. Cause like there isn't everything that I know. Cause it is the first time you starting a club or like anything like this. So I just want to make sure I'm doing everything right. So I do ask a lot of questions though. So I do pull up some people's emails, <laughs> but like start it and do it just like, don't think about like what other people might think or anything like that. Just like, you just got to do it. Yeah. And like, what's the worst that happens is you attend something and then you realize you don't like it or yeah. you start a club and realize, you know what? I just like talking about this. I don't want it maybe to be something formal or yeah. you decide, no, this is my home and these are my people. And this is the community that I'm going to be absolutely, you know, building my Flagler experience around. Yeah. So, well, thank you so much. I don't see any other questions that have come in, but I really do appreciate everybody that has joined us tonight. I feel horrible that last week when we did this, I forgot to give a co-curricular key code word at the end. And so if you are joining us throughout this and you need or would like co-curricular credit, I would love for you to email the word anime to student activities at flagler.edu. And I will go ahead and make sure that we add you for co-curricular credit for listening in on our session tonight. Um, a big thank you and round of applause to Rachel. You have educated me on anime as one of our clubs. Um, and so I really do appreciate it, but we will most likely be here next week. I know that it's reading day here on campus, but um, I still work. And so we'll see if there's another club president or another student leader that would like to chat with our students and prospective students or anybody else out there in our Flagler community about what it means to be involved here at Flagler. If anybody has any questions or would like to chat, I would love the opportunity to chat more about what it means to be here at Flagler. So you can always reach out to me directly. Um, and again, my name is Tara Stevenson. So thank you all so much. Hope you have a wonderful night. Mask up, maybe even double the mask. I feel like it's such a wonderful way to show some personality. Are there, last question, oh my gosh, are there anime masks out there? Uh, for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all so much, and we hope you have a great and wonderful night.